Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Elite Dangerous. In the beginning of today's episode I want to have another fight before we change the ship and try out a couple of missions we haven't tried yet. But I just want the satisfactory feeling of blowing up a ship actually to be recorded on camera before I get out of this. Currently we don't have another conflict zone in the system, but there is a nav beacon and I noticed there are also ships there and every now and then you will find someone that is wanted and that you actually are allowed to start shooting up. I changed my outfitting slightly by actually also installing a gimbaled multi-cannon on the other side, on my other hardpoint. This way I can focus a little bit more on my flying instead of having to point perfectly straight at the target. There is a function to cycle through the other ships and hopefully we will soon find someone that is actually wanted. There we go, we found one. This guy here is wanted. So what I want to do is get behind him and before we start shooting, assign all our pips to the weapon. So hopefully we can get as much damage as possible in before he starts fighting back. Oh, come on, this guy is really fast at the moment. I have to catch up slightly. All right, let's do this. Oh, no, he's breaking. Ah, there we go. Okay, start shooting. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're not getting away. No, no, stay behind him. Stay behind him as much as possible. Oh, okay, now assign pips to shield just in case. Ah, actually, yeah, yeah, there we go. He's gonna shoot now, but I have my pips on my shield. Oh, come on, turn around. Shoot, shoot. Is his shield down? No, it's still not down. Ah, now it is down. There we go. Assign pips. Assign pips. Come on. Okay. Fly after him. Yes. We got him cornered. Slightly. No. Okay. Come on. I think I'm in a very good position right now. Yes, this is perfect. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Go after him. Okay. I think... Yeah, there we go. We got him. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Okay, now I guess we want to recover a little bit and just cruise around. Looking at my modules, we're actually doing still pretty good. You can also see that when I have my hard points out, the cargo hatch is actually the thing that is deactivating so that I have enough power. But I don't need the cargo hatch in this ship. We're all good. All right, it's time to get the reward for that kill that won it. And it was about 100k or so, I think. After that, we're gonna swap back to my exploration vehicle and we're gonna attempt to do a couple more missions that I haven't attempted yet, like scanning missions on planets and stuff like that. I just wanna know how that works. Oh, I totally forgot to actually focus on that. Uh, <laughs> I know, that was a huge waste of time, but uh, one of these days I'm gonna hit the planet and it's not gonna stop me. Here we are in the Diamondback Explorer. Let's just make sure that within optional internals, yes, indeed, we have the planetary vehicle hangar and also the SRV. I think that's what we need for the recon missions. Let's actually see, yeah, these economic data acquisition. So that could be an easy one. Why the heck not? We're gonna take that, except these actions may be considered illegal. Okay, well, I still wanna try it out. Interface with terminal attached to a hub access terminal. The target settlement is Landis Reach. Oh dear, I almost forgot my bounty claim. That is of course important. Contacts, authority and redeem all bounties. 118k actually. Okay, it's called Landis Reach. How do I find that even? I mean, there are cities like everywhere, right? There's one here uh, called Rom Point. Oh, geez. Okay, this is going to take me a while if I have to do it like that. Maybe we are able to find it. Oh, actually here. Yeah, <laughs> land this reach. Okay, just lock on destination. Thank you. And let's get things started. Another thing I figured out by accident is when you're doing a cruise like this, for instance, you can hit a button that you have to assign to 75% thrust. What this actually does is do the acceleration and braking on its own and you only have to align to the target. So I'm not touching the thruster. You can see at 6 seconds it's actually starting to throttle down immensely. Even though at the moment my throttle is still all the way up just because I hit the button to set it to 75%. It's doing the deceleration almost perfectly. Now, of course, with the plant, you still have to be a little bit careful. But if you do this with a station, for instance, you can use it all the way to the point where you would stop and jump out of Super Cruise. Okay, good. There it is. Land this reach. Unfortunately, at the moment, it is nighttime there. Let's still go down and have a look. 
you know, we could actually go ahead and set night vision to on. Let's see if that actually helps. Uh, I think it only really lights up asteroids and other ships, it seems. Ah, okay, the night vision actually does light up the terrain. Oh man, this was so confusing at first. Um, uh, okay, 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 we're slowing down. So essentially we have to infiltrate these guys, get some data from them. Let's uh, park on the side a little bit, maybe a kilometer or two away. What? Trespass zone? Wait, 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 okay. Leave area to avoid sanctions. Okay, we have to land a little bit outside. Ooh, okay, okay, st slow down, slow down. Ooh, okay, that was actually a little bit close. I just want to know how close I can get. I, I suspect three kilometers. Uh, no, okay, they didn't notice me. Maybe I'm below the radar. Ah, there we go. Okay, 2.5 kilometers. That's the sweet spot. Or 2.4 kilometers. Well, doesn't matter. Let's deploy the landing gear and get things rolling. Come on, come on, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Yes. Next question, how do I activate my vehicle? All right, I set up all the controls to steer around the rover. All I need is to get it out of the freaking ship. Ah, right there. Can I deploy? Yes, yes. Okay, and we're being lowered here. That is great. I like that. Uh, let's switch on the lights. What? Uh, wait, lights are right there. Okay, now drive and okay, we can steer around. Great, okay, that, that works fine. Then we should have thrusters. Module not functional. Ah, increased distance from ship. Oh, that makes me want to try something else. I can actually dismiss the ship and summon it again. So let's test this out. Dismiss. Oh my god, okay. Hopefully I will be able to get it back. Looks like we have a data link scanner on the second trigger and SRV dual repeat scanner or whatever that is. Maybe we have to swap to analysis mode. Cool, okay, let's speed things up a little bit. I want to know what this thing can do. Yoohoo! This is actually a lot of fun. I like it. It doesn't say anything about trespassing yet, but dude, we have to land on more planets. And I really wish it was daytime right here. Hold on, another thing I want to try are... The weapons. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, check this out. Intriguing, intriguing. Let's approach the operations terminal and I guess activate it. Since this action might be considered illegal, I'm just preparing myself to get away. Okay, there it is, but this doesn't look good. Are these scanners? Maybe I shouldn't get too close to them. I guess we can roll up here. Uh-oh. Trespassing, okay, okay, now I have to do the scanning quickly, right? Come on, go up, swap mode, do sc scan, start, sc start scanning. You know what, maybe I didn't have it as a target, that could be. Let's try that again, we're gonna go up, because now it's kind of targeting it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, okay, do something. Uh, yeah, it's doing something, finally. We did it, okay, we did it, mission updated. Let's get out of here. I think they didn't notice. Let's see what they updated here. Mission successful. Well, all right, we actually did it. I'm, I'm glad about that. Now let's see if we can summon our ship again. Otherwise, I'm not too happy. Okay, we're gonna try the upwards thrusters. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Woohoo! All right, I think we are now far enough away in order to summon our ship again. Cannot recall ship. I leave settlements 23 meters, so we were just on the edge. Let's try it again. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. We were right on the edge. What a coincidence. Ship, where are you? Where the heck are you? I need to set up my camera so I can look around properly. Oh, oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Beautiful. Hello. Ah, this was actually a lot of fun, even though I could have gotten way more credits doing something else in that time. Touchdown, touchdown, great stuff. Okay, now I presume I can just go ahead and get picked up again, hopefully. Board ship, yes? Yeah, oh, wait, that that was kind of weird looking. Uh-oh, okay, we're, we're, get, get out of here, get out of here! Uh, are we starting the engine? Yeah, yeah, slow down, get up. We have to leave the trespass zone immediately. No, we were, ah, oh, darn it, we just, come on. 400 credits! What a bunch of bastards. 
Okay, I'm doing the 75% thrust here again. It's gonna accelerate, as you can see at this point. And I'm not doing anything with the throttle. All I'm doing is getting myself prepared to jump out of Super Cruise at the correct time. So, at first it does look a little bit scary, but there you go. At 6 seconds we are perfectly slowing down. I don't have to think too much about it. Yeah, we're getting closer to the target, still at 6 seconds. I haven't done anything with the throttle. And there we go, come on, just a little bit more, yes, 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 beautiful. That made it a lot easier for me not to overshoot. Let's see what other types of missions we haven't done yet and could uh, potentially try. Disable the mega ship turret. Hmm, this is only a harmless rank. Whoa, 11 million for 5,000 units. Man, we need a better transport ship. But then another thing we could try are passengers. Yeah, looks like we pretty much haven't done the Disable the Megaship turrets yet. Oh, by the way, I've made a lot of money just by doing the exploring thing again. We're now at 48 million, but it's not quite enough. I would like to upgrade my cargo ship at the moment. I have 104 cargo and it's just not enough to do some of the bigger missions here. Also, we might want to get into engineering soon, which is a whole other topic. In terms of passengers, they actually do give me lots of money. Look at that. Uh, what, what is that? Seven passengers for five million. Fifty million for six business passengers. Maybe actually we should get into passenger shipping. That could be an interesting thing to also try out. Let me have a look at the ships they have. Like a starter passenger thing would be the dolphin, right? I could definitely afford it easily and equip it with everything we wanted, but maybe we can go for the next choice even. I guess we wouldn't need hard points, maybe a couple of utility mounts for shields just in case. There's a class 5 passenger cabin already on there, but it's economy, not business. Maybe we want to go with business. You know, I'm gonna do a little bit of research on what I want and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I did some research. It looks as though there's another option, the Beluga Liner, which might be uh, what I want to go for. I think this was the best that they had, but it is 84 million. So maybe we don't skip the Dolphin after all and take that as our first passenger ship. Dolphin? I'm gonna purchase it right here because it is 20% cheaper than on my planet. And we are gonna store our current ship. There we go. Not sure what they have in terms of outfitting here. We might have to go back to our planet anyway. But we can go ahead and sell this. Let's check out the core internals first of all. We want to upgrade our frameshift drive. So that should go all the way up to 4A. Yeah, 1.6. Wow, that's even more expensive than the ship itself. We need it, but that bumped up our jump range to 24 light years. Everything else, I guess, doesn't matter that much. We could go and try to make it a little bit more lightweight. So instead, yeah, but they don't have all the modules that I want. What we're looking for is the D rating. So 3D right here. You can see the power draw goes a little bit up. However, it also affects everything else in a positive way. So that is definitely going to be worth it. Exchange that. Okay, nothing else for the core internals on this station. We have to go back to the planet for this, but we might be able to do something here. I actually want to go with business class only, and we also need some cargo in order to accept the rewards from some missions, I read. For this type of ship, I probably want to keep all the assist modules in case we don't need them for something else. Now, how much cargo do we need? Let's keep the cargo rack here with a capacity of 8. I'm gonna sell the shield generator. Ooh, we might want to go with a really crappy shield. I mean, I don't want to engage in battle anyways. I'm gonna swap my economy class passenger cabin into a business one. Whoa, luxury class passenger, but only has a capacity of 4. No, 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 no. Business class also only has 10 seeds compared to the economy class with 16 seeds, but it's gonna yield me much more money, I think. Same thing here, we're gonna add another passenger cabin uh, 4D business class with a capacity of 6. So that means we can carry 16 business people. Oh, hold on, we could actually use the 3E cargo rack in this slot, I just see that. Let me transfer that, wait. Ah, this is always so complicated in these games. I want to add it right here, transfer to ship, yes, god darn it. And then we can maybe add another passenger thingy job. 
let's just go crazy. For the business class, yes. Halmas exceeds shield generator. Oh no. Okay, we have to go with at least a three generator. Ah, that's not good. So maybe we're gonna go with two smaller cargo racks here instead of the bigger one. 2E? Yeah, right there. This is also gonna give us a cargo capacity of 8, but allows us to get a better shield. We could go with a really good shield generator since we only use a class 3 one. And that still leaves us with one empty compartment. What else do we need? Hmm, maybe a fuel scoop. Yeah, that's not the worst of ideas. So let's go with a 2A fuel scoop. Okay, that means we have to go back to the planet in order to upgrade the rest of the modules. I'm gonna be right back. This settlement is just so amazingly close to its star. I love this. Finally, time to enjoy more of the scenery. First of all, we're gonna hand in the data mission here. Then let's see, do they even have passenger missions here? I hope so. No, they have no passenger missions. Oh well, let's go to the shipyard and bring back the ship that I left. Right here, Diamondback Explorer. Please uh, come back to me for 3000 credits, come on. Anyways, in the outfitting, let's upgrade the power... No, actually, we don't need an upgrade here just yet, but we might soon. Gonna go with 4D life support, yes. Going for a 5D thruster would also make things substantially better, yes. I'm also gonna upgrade my sensors to 3D. In terms of utility mount, we might want to go with some defensive stuff, such as a chaff launcher. If things go really south, we might want a point defense. And then, I don't know, maybe a shield booster? Before adding a shield booster, we have to upgrade our power plant. So if we did 4A, that would be way too much. Maybe 4C gives us a maximum of 13. Wait, we don't want to go with a 3, we want to go with a 4. What about 4D? Oh, actually, that might be perfect. This even allows us to add a tiny shield booster. Let's see, shield booster right here. Uh, we can go all the way up to C, I think. Yeah, that might be great. If we did, yeah, it's gonna decrease the jump range slightly. But it might be worth it to just, you know, fill that up. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that. We took care of everything, I think. Yeah, optional. We filled everything up here. Fuel scoop if necessary. Maybe let's check out the customization. I'm looking for a decent paint job. Uh, something. Yeah, okay, I like that actually. Let's use that. Wait, what? No way. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Now we only have to find uh, passenger missions. Oh, actually the passenger launch is where we find them. Kurt Watson seeks sightseeing adventure. <laughs> oh my god, no. I mean, it pays 4 million, but we have to transport a criminal mastermind. Oh, that's what I want. 18 business persons seeking transport. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Stuff like that. Though we only have 16 seats. <laughs> Wait, business people actually don't want business class. <laughs> they want first class. Ah, darn it. So the tourists, they want business class. Nobody even wants economy. Okay, that really hurts. Maybe we do have to upgrade to first class in this case, because all of these guys here, they want first class and also uh, the quests down here. First class and even luxury. What? Tatiana Gates wants to visit Beacon Worlds and collect the data. This is absolutely amazing. Well, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> Alright, we are back. It is now actually the next day and I just picked up two missions. One is a smaller one, just getting eight rebels to their target location, but then Enrique wants to have a sightseeing adventure. The problem about these sightseeing adventures is uh, very often that they want to travel quite far. In this case, uh, I actually don't know, it's like 128 light years. But essentially they want to check out some gas vents. Enrique wants one fish? God darn it, they also have demands. I didn't know about that. That's not good. Well, maybe we can satisfy their demands on the way. Let's first do the other mission, Eight Rebels. That should be fairly close. It's even in a system that I've already been at. Okay, I hope you guys are ready. Let's take off. Woohoo! Okay, so far so good. We haven't been scanned. I think as soon as you're in the station through the airlock, you're safe. It's the ships outside that are scanning you. There are eight rebels. I did that actually for almost nothing. Maybe we take the 10 grand and a little bit more reputation. That might be a better reward. I don't think these guys have fish. I'm so sorry. 
Well, let's see what happens if we don't fulfill their demands, but we definitely want to do the sightseeing tour, so it's time to open up the galaxy map and plot a route over there. Distance 99 light years, so that's not too shabby for a couple of millions. However, we will also have to get them back. Okay, we're about three quarters there. I need to fuel scoop a little bit for a change. I actually passed two stars that weren't scoopable. I think we have arrived in the target system. Yeah, let's check the message. Nav beacon data. Okay, so there should be a nav beacon somewhere. Yes, okay, target. Let's go get it. Okay, here we are. Disengaged. What happens now? Uh-oh. Ah, actually, maybe we need to go there to Boston Wreck. Uh, let me check that. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Let's get out of here again. <laughs> That's nice, a tiny planet orbiting a huge planet, really closely. We want to go to Boston's wreck gas vents, that's what he wants to see, right? Okay, cool, maybe that's something nice we haven't seen yet. I tell you, it's freaking nighttime everywhere I land, it's a curse. Wait, this is why we traveled a hundred light years. Okay, that is just like a nav beacon here, we have to find the vents. Well, okay, there are no gas vents here, I can tell you that much. I'm going to try to land the ship here and see if that does something with the mission. Is, is everyone happy now? Actually, okay, I had to target it and fly close to it. <laughs> oh, so silly. But there are no gas vents. I'm a little bit disappointed. Well, in this case, we can uh, plot a route back to Isola Prospect and get our money. When researching this topic, I actually heard sometimes you're lucky and you get uh, some beautiful sights when taking these guys on a sightseeing tour. The fuel scope I have on this ship isn't good enough in my opinion, it does take too long. However, we were able to jump 100 light years without theoretically scooping. And by that I just mean I barely scooped. Jeez, auto docking is so boring! Come on! Well, home sweet home, let's see what we got for this. I actually forgot uh, what I accepted this for. 2.2 million, not bad. Or modified embedded firmware. Hmm, I have to figure out what all these other materials mean. Okay, nice. I'm glad I did one of these missions, but I still think the next thing I want to go for is a bigger transport vessel to do my own trade routes and everything. But yeah, for now, that shall be fine. Let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye-bye.